Greetings, Abbey Fest. Welcome to our Abbey Fest night of song, of worship. Thanks for joining us. My name is Mark Riswell, and I'm going to be leading us in some, some songs, some worship tonight. For those of you that don't know me, um, I am married to my wonderful wife, Shail. I have four amazing kids, Robbie, Patrick, Abby, and John Paul. Uh, we live right here in the Philadelphia area, and I am one of the original founders of the Abbey Faith and Music Festival that this beautiful event that started um, seven years ago, right here in, in the Philadelphia area, Paoli, Pennsylvania. Um, and this was a day that was birthed, uh, I think out of a vision that I had in my heart 15 years ago, um, when I would walk the grounds of the Abbey in the evening where our concert is held and I would pray the rosary and in my heart, I would, I would have this vision of the fields at the abbeys filled with young people and families gathered for a day of worship, a day of praise, a day to celebrate faith, to celebrate our Lord together. And, um, and uh, who knew that 15 years ago, that, that vision, just that thought that I had in my mind would come to fruition seven years ago. Uh, when we, 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 we began Abbey Fest. And so um, it's been an incredible journey. It's been a blessing. Many of you that are watching tonight probably know me best by seeing me up on the stage, emceeing every year, introducing our incredible musicians and artists. And um, I'm also a member of Firehill Worship, which uh, our band leads the music at the liturgy every year at Abbey Fest. So um, it has been an incredible, incredible experience to be part of something so beautiful as Abbey Fest, and we're so glad that we get to offer these nights um, to keep the spirit of Abbey Fest alive. As you know, because of the pandemic, we're not having a live Abbey Fest concert day uh, this year, but God willing, we'll be back together a year from now. And in between, we have these wonderful opportunities to hear our artists who um, who provide such beautiful music for our, for, uh, for our, for our, Catholic family, for our Christian family, for all of us. So I'm glad I get to be part of that tonight. I get to share with you some music that has touched my life, music that's helped me along the journey of faith through the years, um, songs that have inspired me. And I want to share those with you tonight. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you are able to pray along with me tonight um, as we gather for this Abbey Fest Night of Song and Worship. Thanks for being here. When he rolls up his sleeves, he ain't just putting on the ritz. Our God is an awesome God. There's thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his fists. Our God is an awesome God. Well, the Lord, he wasn't choking when he kicked him out of Eden. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. His return is very close, so you better be believing that our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. When the sky was Starless in the void of the night, our God is an awesome God. He spoke into the darkness and created the light. Our God is an awesome God. Well, judgment and wrath He poured out on Sodom. Mercy and grace He gave us at the cross. I hope that we have not too quickly forgotten that our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He
and power and love. Amen. So Lord, we invite you to be with us tonight as we come together to celebrate, to worship you, to honor you in song and in worship. Jesus, we just want to see you lifted high that the world may know who you are, all that you are. Lord, you are the light of the world, the light that dispels the darkness. And we just invite you tonight to flood our hearts with your light, with your presence, flood our homes with your peace, your joy, as we glorify you this night, Jesus. You who are the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha and Omega. Lord of 
So I think uh, one of the, the most influential songs in my life was a song that I heard when I was a uh, junior in high school. Um, I went to a wonderful conference uh, for Catholic youth up in Ohio, a place called Franciscan University. And it was a high school youth conference. And it was Saturday night of the conference and there was a time of worship, there was a time of prayer and toward the later part of the evening, um, the priest brought out the Blessed Sacrament, the monstrance, with the Eucharist in it. And it was the first time I had ever experienced um, what we know as Eucharistic adoration, being in the presence of the 
Eucharistic Lord uh, displayed in the monstrance on the altar. And uh, it was incredibly moving because there were 2,000 young people, teenagers. I'd never seen 2,000 Catholic teens in my life gathered with so much faith. And when the monstrance came out and the lights were turned down low and the candles were lit on the altar, you could hear a pin drop um, in the tent that we were gathered in. And everyone fell to their knees and it was the most intimate moment of prayer that I'd ever experienced in my life. And it was in that moment, a junior in high school going into my senior year, that I can honestly say that I gave my heart to Jesus, like completely, totally. It was a moment of surrender, a moment of encounter. I would always be had always believed in the Lord. I'd always had faith. I'd always practiced my faith. But never have I encountered Jesus more intimately than in that moment of prayer as a 16, 17-year-old young man on my knees. And as I surrendered to him, I also came face to face with my sinfulness. And... I kind of had that moment um, when St. Peter told the Lord, depart from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. I had that moment of like, I can't be in your presence, Lord. I I'm too sinful. I'm too, there's too many things that I need to change. And as I was thinking that and literally beginning to weep for my sinfulness in the presence of God, this song was played. And it's a song about the prodigal son. It tells the story of the prodigal son. And the song is entitled, When God Ran, because it says in the parable of the prodigal son that while his son was a long way off, the father caught sight of him and ran toward him to greet him. And this song talks about how our God runs to us in our brokenness, in our sinfulness, in our shame. He doesn't wait for us to come groveling back to him. Our God is so generous and so merciful and so loving that he runs to you and me. And this song is called When God Ran.
never saw him cry Was when he ran to me He took me in his arms Held my head to his chest Said my son has come home again He lifted my face He wiped the tears from my eyes With forgiveness in his voice He said He brought me to my knees when God ran. I saw them run to me. And So my brothers and sisters, I, I don't know where you are tonight in your walk with the Lord. And maybe you're feeling distant from Him for many reasons. Possibly that distance has been caused by your sinfulness. But know that the Father loves you. Know that He runs to you. And that He wants to embrace you and welcome Him home. And for those of you that are Catholic, we can experience that prodigal son moment in the sacrament of reconciliation when we confess our sins and we experience the love of God poured out in his mercy and he runs to us like he ran to the prodigal son. Work. 
working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. Touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the dark. My God, that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship
is a way maker. God has made a way for you and me. And even in the midst of this pandemic, in this midst of so many trials and tribulations that we face, God has made a way for us. Just like he made a way for the Israelites in the desert. Just like he parted the Red Sea. Just as he led them to the promised land. My brothers and sisters, God is leading you and me and he's making a way for us. Even through the trial, even through the challenges, even through the darkness that surrounds us, God is making a way. If our God is for us, then who can be against us? And I believe, my brothers and sisters, that our God is for us. And he wants, he wants to bring us to himself. He wants to bring us into his glory. This song is called Nearer Than Before. Take the blindness from my eyes All my arrogance and pride Fill my vision with your light Lord, take the deafness from my ears When I'm dull and slow to hear Help me recognize your voice Lord, draw me nearer than before Every day I long for more of you To know and see your face And Lord, draw me deeper into prayer Every day I want to meet you there Just to spend my life with you Lord, take the darkness from my mind When confusion makes me blind Come renew me with your truth and Lord, take the hardness from my heart Roll away the stony part And fill me with the love that's true Draw me nearer than before Every day I long for more of you To know and see your face And Lord, draw me deeper into prayer Every day I want to meet you there Just to spend my life with you So I'd like to share with you one more song tonight before we end our time together. And this song is a song of encouragement for me, and I hope it's a song of encouragement for you. The title of the song is The Victory Song, and it was written by this man named Bob Filaramo, a Catholic uh, musician, I believe from New Jersey. And uh, I first learned this song when I was a student at Franciscan University of Steubenville. And I believe this song has become an anthem for so many people. 
Um, it's called The Victory Song. And the subtitle is Press On. And I want to share this with you tonight to let you know that even in the midst of our challenges, there is victory. There is victory that lies ahead if we persevere, if we press on with the Lord, if we fight the good fight and we run the race, then we can be assured of the victory that lays before us. This is the victory song. of his life who picks up his cross and walks with his God a glorious inheritance awaits him at the end where he will see and know his true father and the pearl of great price is in his hand so as for me, I will press on in running the race with my eyes fixed on Jesus, who inspires and perfects my faith. I will fight the good fight with all my heart and soul till the day that I'm with Jesus, the day I'm finally home day that I have won the crown. He will approach the throne of his Father with Jesus at his side. The Father will rise and say, welcome home. You're a good and faithful servant. Come in and take your reward. The battle Done. Come and take your rest. Oh, stay with me forevermore. So as for me, I will press on in running the race with my eyes fixed on Jesus, who inspires and perfects my faith. I will fight the good fight with all my heart and soul till the day that I'm with Jesus, the day I'm finally home, the day that I have won the crown. And the heavens will resound with the thunder of praise. Angels and saints will shout for joy, and the Father will dance because His Son has come home. Another warrior returns from the fight, another victory for the Lamb of God. the good fight. May we win the crown, brothers and sisters. 
May God bless you and God love you. And thanks for joining us tonight for this Abbey Fest Night of Song and Worship.